Hey, I'm Josh, and today I'm gonna do some retail arbitrage. I'm gonna show you how I go into a local retail store, buy some stuff, and then resell that stuff on Amazon to make a profit. So what store am I going to today? I just pulled up at Ollie's Bargain Outlet. It's a discount store. I believe it's a national chain, so you might have one in your town, or at least there's one maybe close enough by to where you could drive to it. I would go and check it out. I've had good luck in the past finding stuff here before. They've got pet supplies, toys, grocery, clothes, you name it, they've got it inside. So let's go inside and see if I can find some stuff to resell on Amazon. All right, we're heading inside Ollie's Bargain Outlet. Good stuff, cheap. That's their motto. And right inside the door here is a giant bobblehead of Ollie. Let's get a selfie before we go inside. And I'm gonna grab a cart. I always like to grab a cart because you never know what the heck you're gonna find in here. And I'm trying to fill this thing up to the top. So just to the right here is a book section. It's like a bookstore within the store and I can usually find at least a couple things over here that I can resell. Okay, so the first thing I'm looking at here in the book section is this King James large print Bible and they have it on sale for $12.99. So let's give it a scan with the Amazon seller app here. And the thing that's nice about this is it's in a cardboard box packaging. So we know that the book is gonna be in really great condition and we can sell it as brand new. So let's give it a scan here. Okay, so you can see the buy box price is $64.99. And the sales rank is 623,000-ish, which is okay. That looks pretty good. Anything under a million is not too bad for books. So let's hit the view offers here. And we're only looking at new and prime. So we'll scroll down here. Okay, so you can see 64.99 is the lowest prime offer. And then Amazon's on there for 77.37, but you can see the buy box price is $64.99, so this person right here has it, LT Trading. So we don't need to be super scared to be on the listing with Amazon. If we can undercut Amazon by a little bit, they'll give you the buy box. Okay, so I'm gonna open up an app called Profit Bandit and see how much money we can make on this and take a better look at it. Profit Bandit's an app I use. It gives me a more in-depth look at the product. Okay, you can see there's our book. If the sales rank is 623,000-ish, and the buy box is 64.99, so you can see this book is selling. It's under a million. It doesn't sell super quick, but all these jumps and spikes in the sales rank history chart means that this product is selling. And this will show us all the other listings here. We're really only concerned about the FBA new. And let's look at the Keepa chart here. Keepa is just going to tell us what it's been selling for over the past three months. And you can see that line there, that's Amazon. They're selling it pretty consistently at about $77. And the cool thing about this app is we can type in our buy price down here, $12.99. And if we sell for $64.98, which is just under the current buy box price, that gives us a profit of $33.26 on each one. So you can hit that button and it breaks down all the fees and it tells you where the money is actually going to be going to. And there's our profit. And the cool thing is they had like 30 of these, maybe more. So I'm going to pick up quite a few. I'm not going to get all of them, but I'll get a few. And here's a nice stash of Dr. Seuss books with this one called behind me. It's the thing on my jigger is coming today. Cancel it. Cancel all those. Okay, this one's kind of interesting. We got ourselves a CEB Women's Bible, and it's in cardboard packaging just like the other one, so that's kind of nice so we know it's new. So let's flip it over here and give it a scan with the Amazon Seller app. Okay, so the buy box price is $34.95. And the sales rank is a little high, just over a million, but let's take a look at the offers here. And I'll show you what's going on. So let's hit new, we're only looking at new and prime. Let's see here, Amazon is on the listing for 67.51. They are the only prime offer. There's only four people on it. 
but you can see here they actually gave the buy box price to the Sea to Sky Direct at $34.95, who's merchant fulfilled, who's not even shipping it from the Amazon warehouse. So what I think we could do here is actually jump on this listing and do it FBA and ship it in. So let's click down here, and that'll take us to the page that'll let us calculate the profit. And Amazon fulfill because we're gonna ship it to Amazon and they're gonna ship it. And I believe it was, let's see, what, what was it? It's $16.99 here. So what I believe is gonna happen is we can come in on this listing and sell this sucker for like 60 because Amazon had it for like 67. And the cost of purchase was $16.99. So we would actually make a profit of $26.23 is my educated guess. But I do want to take a look at this uh, book with Profit Bandit and scan the UPC to see what the sales velocity actually looks like here. Whoops, of course I scanned the wrong one. Let's try that again. Okay, there you go. So you can see this is actually selling. These spikes and jumps on the sales rank history chart means it's selling a bit. And there's Amazon on it for $67.51. So if we got this for $16.99, we'd actually make like close to 30 bucks on this. So they had a whole stack of them. I'm not gonna load the boat like I kind of did with the other Bibles, but I might get two or three and try them out. All right, here's a book. It's a book called Scientists Get Dressed. Sure, why not? They probably should. Let's flip it over and scan the UPC with the Amazon Seller app. Okay, so the buy box price is $19.95. You can see that there. And the sales rank is 700,000 ish, which is okay. And they are selling it here for, let's see, it's $2.99, I think. Okay, so we can look at the listings here and the offers. So we'll hit new, and we're looking for prime offers down here. Let's see who is on this sucker. Of course, Amazon's on it. Ah. Okay, it looks like they're the only FBA, or prime offer on here. So let's open up Profit Bandit and take a better look at it. Okay, so I already gave it a scan. And you can see here, there's the sales rank 700,000. It does sell with these spikes and jumps on the sales rank history chart. It's what you would expect for a book with that rank. And here's the listings, Amazon's on there. And we're not too worried about the uh, new and used. You can check the keeper chart here. Yep, you can see that top line, Amazon's on there for about 20 bucks most of the time. Um, okay, so if we got it for 2.99, I mean, you could make five bucks on this. I don't know. It, it's a tough call. There's a lot of books in here with this criteria. Now I'm over in the grocery section looking at stuff and here's an example of where a reseller has probably been here. You can see that was peeled back. I mean, not necessarily, but that's not always a good sign when you see stuff like that. So I'm over in the cereal aisle. They've got a bunch of cereal that expires in about a month or two. So you got to be careful because you can't send that in. Uh, Dunkin' Caramel Macchiato, never heard of it. It sounds pretty gross, actually. All right, let's see what we got here. We got some Lego stuff here. Lego stuff usually sells pretty well on Amazon. It commands a pretty decent price. So let's flip it over here and find the UPC, if it'll stay. Give it a scan with the Amazon seller app. Okay, so the sales rank is super low at 88.51 and the buy box is 29.42. Let's see what the price was. I think it was 12.99. Ooh, I thought that said $12.99, it says $19.99. False alarm, never mind. All right, I got another toy here called Kuroba. 
or something like that. It's $5.99. Let's go ahead and give it a scan if I can find the UPC. Stay there. Okay, so the buy box price is $32.99 and the sales rank is not great. At $317,000, let's take a look at the offers here. There's only one offer on here. Uh, for this, I'm gonna have to open up Profit Bandit and take a better look at this product. Okay, so yeah, the sales rank is a bit high, but you can see this product does sell a bit. It's really hard to say. Okay, so let's look at the Keeper chart. It's kind of all janky and all over the place. It's like $12 here, and then it's up to $25, and then it's down to $12, and then it's up to $35. Uh, I mean, let's see what we could make, though. It was $5.99. So that would be like a $17 profit on it. I don't know. It's a little too dicey. The sales rank's a little too high, but you could make some money. Let's check out this toy here. It's called Bakugan or something. It looks like anime. I don't know. Let's give it a scan here with the Amazon seller app. Okay, so the sales rank is pretty okay. It's at $177,000. Uh, buy box price is $19.99. Let's see how much was it. It was $7.99 here. So let's take a look at the offers. We're looking at new and prime, $19.99. There's a bunch of offers for $19.99 on here. Let's give it a scan with Profit Bandit so I can get a better look at it. Okay, yep, the sales rank is $177,000. It's not great. And you can see, well, it's kind of weird that it wasn't selling here. If this was just a flat line at the top, that means it's just not selling. So it wasn't selling and now it looks like it is selling over here in the last month or two, which is a little weird. Okay, there's a bunch of people in there. That's pretty normal for a toy. Let's look at the Keepa chart. It looks like it's all over the place again. Uh, it probably wasn't selling because it was $35 there at one point and people just didn't want to buy it. Okay, so it was $7.99. So if we beat the buy box price at $19.98, uh, we'd make a profit of about $4.50. Again, that's a little dicey and it's not a lot of profit, but it's an okay ROI. We're not doing so great in the toys today, unfortunately. All right, I just left the Ollie's. I did pretty decent in there, especially the book section. I did not do so great in the toy section. I kind of struck out in there. There was some questionable profit. I put it back. There's no need to mess with it. Uh, but in the book section, I ended up getting 15 of those nice leather-bound Bibles that should have about a $30 profit each on those. So that's a really good score. And then I got a few other ra uh, random just kids' books here that had like a, a two, three, four, five dollar profit on them. Nothing special. So let's go over what I spent. I spent $211.68, and the total profit I should get is about $430 total. So I think that's pretty good. If you like these videos where I go into a store and show you exactly what I'm looking at in the apps and stuff, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you like it or if you don't. I'm just trying to help other resellers, people who might be brand new to reselling or thinking about it. I'm just showing you what it's like inside the store. Or if you're a seasoned veteran, maybe I'm just giving you a look at some bolos here and there or some parts of the store, or items that you never even thought to look at. I'm just trying to share information out here. So I'm Josh. That's what I did today and I'll see you next time.